The human ear is a very interesting, amazing, and intricate structure in the body. Hi, this is Dr. Ruth Estimar, and today we'll be discussing how the ear works. The ear is divided into three parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is composed of the pinna, or the external ear, which is visible, and the ear canal, which is connected to the eardrum. The outer two-thirds of the ear canal has glands which produce earwax. The earwax is the ear's self-cleaning mechanism. Behind your eardrum is the middle ear. It is an air-filled space which contains the three smallest bones in your body. These bones are called the ossicles. The three ossicles are the hammer or the malleus, the anvil or the incus, and the stirrup or the stapes. The middle ear space is connected to the back of the nose via the eustachian tube. Its function is to equalize the air inside the middle ear and to provide a fresh oxygen supply into the middle ear mucosa. The inner ear can be thought of as two organs. First, the semicircular canals, which are the body's balance organ, and the cochlea, which serves as the ear's microphone, converting the sound waves into electrical impulses which transmits to the brain. Inside the cochlea are thousands of tiny hair cells which change the mechanical signals from the middle ear into electrical signals which is transmitted to the auditory nerve. Each hair cell has a small patch of stereocilia sticking up out of the top of it. Sound waves make the stereocilia rock back and forth and if the sound is too loud, these can be bent or broken. This causes the hair cell to die, and it cannot transmit sound impulses to the brain anymore. This is a picture of a healthy hair cell versus a damaged hair cell. Birds and some frogs are known to regenerate their inner hair cells. In humans, once these hair cells die, they can never grow back. So, how do we hear? First, sound waves are funneled from the ear canal into the tympanic membrane. This causes the eardrums to vibrate, and these vibrations are passed on into their three small bones. The footplate of the stapes is connected into a small window which is connected to the inner ear. Motion from the oval window, which is one-eighth the size of the eardrum, moves the perilymph or the inner ear fluid. This moving fluid bends the hair cells which is transmitted as electrical impulses to the auditory nerve, which is then transmitted to the brain. In the brain, these impulses are converted into what we hear as sound. 